I think this uh, U.S. presidential election is uh, um, having traits similar with uh, what we saw in the uh, Brexit referendum in June in, in Great Britain, and that is that if you are uh, uh, your favorite is uh, Donald Trump, then you are not uh, you're not su- you're not supposed to brag about it, and that means that in uh, opinion polls. Uh, Uh, Donald Trump supporters are, po- are probably uh, a bit underrepresented uh, compared to what it'll actually turn out at the level uh, once we have the uh, the real election. So I think um, they might be uh, uh, under tipping um, Donald Trump, but uh, but going forward we might see a, a surprise. I think this this election is going to be somewhat tighter than uh, what the market currently uh, expects. But still, I think uh, Hillary Clinton is, is going to win. What we see is that uh, she's having a, a, a lead, a re- relatively consistent lead, although smaller in the past few days after the FBI has been uh, reopening the case about investigating the, uh, her emails. Uh, but uh, uh, still, uh, Nate Silver, for example, a famous uh, statistician that has been uh, quite uh, good at uh, predicting outcomes in, uh, in U.S. elections, is uh, saying uh, chances for Trump uh, winning the uh, uh, presidential election have increased in the, in the past uh, couple of days from about 15% to about 30%. Uh, so, so still there's a, a somewhat of a, uh, of a lead uh, in the uh, Clinton camp. If Trump w- wins, I think uh, what we're seeing currently is that uh, markets have been uh, slightly lower. Uh, equities have, have, uh, have dropped uh, since his uh, uh, the chances of uh, Trump winning have increased. Uh, so they are beginning to to price in, uh, at least to a larger degree, that Trump is actually winning. Uh, if he wins, I think uh, risky assets, especially uh, stock markets, will be down. I think U.S. Uh, uh, stocks will be down about eight uh, percent on the day. Uh, the rest of the world's uh, stock markets will probably be down about six uh, percent on the day. Uh, we'll most likely see euro dollar increasing by about four percent, and uh, many emerging markets, uh, co- uh, uh, stock markets will be down, and especially emerging market currencies will be down. Um, pricing in that uh, that we'll s- perhaps see more uh, protectionism uh, on the uh, in the in the U.S. with the uh, uh, Donald Trump as the president. And uh, if we look at sectors, I think uh, perhaps not surprisingly, uh, what uh, correlates, uh, if we look at correlations uh, in different sectors uh, uh, on uh, the uh, uh, Donald Trump's uh, lead or Clinton's lead, the correlations there indicate that the most defensive sectors will do, be doing best, so uh, healthcare, utilities, and, um, and consumer staples, while uh, most risky sectors like energy and financials um, will, be, will be doing worst. I don't think investors should be doing anything here. Uh, I think I don't think they should be uh, trying to to time the market. Uh, if Donald Trump is uh, chosen as the president, and uh, equities are down by eight percent, as I expect would happen, I think they should be di- uh, buying uh, equities because uh, my expectation is that uh, after five or ten trading days, equities will be uh, roughly back at where they started uh, ahead of the election. So, uh, so they will normalize, and uh, the reason is that uh, the U.S. president actually has a lot less power than most uh, people think. I think the U.S. central bank is having a lot, uh, a lot, uh, much bigger market impact than than who is actually the uh, the president in the U.S.